So we have three three-minute rounds of boxing ahead of us. Gabriel Maestre of Venezuela in red. From Cuba, Arasnoides de Spania in blue. Well, this is one of the bouts I've been waiting for. This is going to be a South American Samba. Both these boxers, incredible skill sets. Arisnoide de Spania, well, cruised through, beating his opponent in the quarterfinals and displayed real talent. Indeed, as did the Venezuelan Gabriel Maestre. They're both national champions, Venezuela and in Cuba. And uh, De Spagne took bronze at the Pan American Championships. Maestre took silver. And uh, De Spagne lost out to Gabriel Maestre in the semi final. So the psychological advantage rests with Maestre. Having beaten Despagne, Despagne displayed a very cool and uh, tricksy fighting style in the quarterfinals. But very loose, very fluid fighters, great skill sets and a panoply of boxing strikes and skills between them. What's so, so impressive about uh, De Spagne of Cuba, 31 years old now, and uh, really starting to come into form. I mean, he, he was one of the uh, competitors you were most impressed with in the quarterfinals, Will. A very tricky customer. And, uh, only made it into the national team in his mid-20s. So difficult to be uh, a Cuban national boxer. To win your own national championship sometimes, it's like winning the world championships itself. Absolutely, the um, prestige that is placed in certain countries on their boxing champions, well, it can be the highest sporting accolade of that country. However, just look now, you can almost hear the minds of these two fighters whirring away. The mental and physical chess game has begun, and just look at the degree of failure and success with each strike. It all depends on a millimetre of movement. And Despagne in, out, so quickly, so sharply. And just look at that moving target that he presents for Maestre. Just unbelievable. Just look at the game of cat and mouse begin. This is the samba, this is the dance. Maestre, four punches there, completely off target. They weren't when they started, but they were when they ended. So back to their corners, uh, Gabriel Maestre having uh, his work cut out here with Aris Nordis de Spagna. De Spagna not even seeded coming into this. Well, look at that, de Spagna on the counter having some success there, but he's just presented an absolutely missable target for Maestre. Just locking in on that has been an absolute job in itself, but you can hear both these boxers working away mentally. Well, here are uh, the judges' scores. 9-10 uh, across the board in favour of the Cuban de Spagna. So whoever wins this uh, will be taking on Yelusinov in the final. <laughs> That's certainly a, a brutal prospect for either of them. I'm sure they'll both be hoping to get through this uh, unscathed and into the final. It was such a war in uh, the last semi-final with Maruchin and Yelusinov. So we're underway again. Three minutes this second round. Gabriel Maestre of Venezuela in red. Aris Nordis de Spagna of Cuba in blue. And as I said at the beginning of the bout, the psychological advantage rests with Gabriel Maestre, who won silver at the... Uh, Pan American Championships beating Despagne. Despagne, well, he'll have gone away, looked at what was involved, and it's ironic that they're now faced up in this 2013 AIBA World Championships in Almaty. You look all the way back to 2006, which, which isn't that long ago for a 31 year old like Despagne. He was ninth at the Cuban Championships. 
talk about continual improvement and never giving up. He's now 31. His movement looks brilliant. And here he is at the World Championships, fighting for a place in the final. Well, just look at the skill being displayed here. The bobbing, the weaving, the ducking, it really is top class. He even manages a wave to someone in the crowd there, Despagne. And as he backpedals back, just the fluidity, the movement, the dance is a supreme demonstration of high skill sets. This is physical and mental chess. And this is not going to be decided, I would venture, only on the punches that land, but you look at the punches that miss. This is certainly about that's surrounded by two different elements. Yeah, his, his movement is quite different from most, isn't it? It's uh, fascinating. My straight, a uh, much more normal boxer, dare I say, but Despagne, his movement is terrific. Soaks up all the punches there. Maestre himself is a, a master of his art. He slipped a few punches from Despagne. This is going to be a real tussle between two really high-level elite fighters at this weight. Well, they say that boxing is like a ballet, except the dancers wear gloves and there's no music. And you look at these two at work, and it is an art form. Despagne manages to move so lightly around the ring, and Maestre following him, the engagement between the two, absolute centimetres between a successful strike and the miss. Really, really engaging. Maestre misses, but by a fraction. Despagne turns, punishes. Well, end of round two, and uh, I think a chess game is, is an absolutely perfect description of this, Will. These two guys just sizing each other up here still. Maestre, a little bit more aggressive, but Despagne in the counter-attack is just deadly. You can see, just as we revisit the replay here, the margins involved in success and failure with each punch. Let's see how the judges found it. Very close. Well, once again, they've gone with Despagne of Cuba, 18-20 across the board. And they are impressed with his style. He looks happy. He looks comfortable. And definitely the Venezuelan is breathing heavier in his corner. The Cuban looks cool and calm. And with 24 hours before the final, if he wins this, I, I think he's going to be in really good shape for that final. So this is it, the final round, three more minutes to decide who goes through to the World Championship final. The referee ushers away to a neutral corner. The Cuban, not happy that the Venezuelans fully towel down and uh, we get underway again. Cuba in blue, Venezuela in red. It's the Cuban ahead, two rounds to nil at the moment. Well, it looks very much to me as if Despagne has been plotting his revenge for the Pan American Championship defeat that he suffered against Maestre. <laughs> High level skill sets from both these athletes. And they both offer us and present elegant, elegant demonstrations of the fine art of boxing. Despagne almost unhittable my straight responding the same and in fact neither of these fighters has landed a meaningful shot on each other during the last two rounds certainly coming into the third we're seeing a few more shots starting to come through but uh, elusive elusive targets each yeah it was a really cracking shot from Despania there so many punches thrown, as you say, Will. So few hitting, but Despagne gets through. And uh, he'll be up on the judges' scorecard at the moment in this final round. Maestre needs to uh, do something. Unlock the secret here. Get through to Despagne. Despagne settled down now to a more orthodox, in uh, parenthesis, style. He's 
going toe to toe with Maestre. They're starting to work, both of them from the center of the ring and trade punches. And Dispanier now sending out a clear message, apart from the elusive, evasive skills that I can demonstrate. Let's go to work here and I'll show you what I can do. And Dispanier coming out slightly better off in the exchanges. Colin and I could watch these two all night. They probably couldn't keep it going for more than three rounds because this has just been all out. Again, Despanier, best out of that exchange, but the margin's so narrow. Now just uh, punching him to the back of the head. Uh, Maestre did turn around, though. It's his, his own fault. The referee says, face your opponent. And now he's starting to cover up Maestre. He does look at the tighter of the two. Well, Despanier doesn't look bruised. He's not being cut. He's been fluid throughout. He's kept his pace. He's looking in great shape for the final, and it looks like he's going to cruise right the way through. And against a fighter like Maestre, that is something awesome. <laughs> Maestre trying to finish the round strongly, but Despanier going with him. To the wire this is going to go. Both fighters giving it to the bell. That's it. Uh, that last punch landing just after the bell there. Despania gives him a look, but then uh, it's all friendship again. So uh, this Central American clash looks like it's going to go the way. The Cubans, certainly the first two rounds did. And uh, look back here. And we'll uh, certainly show some of the highlights of, of the Cuban again. Well, all I can really say about the highlights is weren't the misses great? <laughs> because although some punches were landed, it was the evasive techniques of these two boxers that stood out. So, meeting Yelusinov in the final, it is the Cuban, Aris Noides, Despania.